everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Veil World, where I have some exceptionally exciting eggs to share with all of you guys, because, <gasps> look at this, look at this, we have the Sumi Dragon Egg, and isn't it one of the most beautiful eggs? I love that swirl, it's kind of, uh, it really is like ink sort of mixed on milk or something like that, and that sounds really weird, but it actually looks really really beautiful and look at these guys we have not one but two oracle dragon eggs that actually came from the same pairing of a shore dragon enchanted shore dragon and a mineral dragon that eventually gave us the gorgeous sumi egg i am so excited because the sumi dragon the enchanted just oh my gosh oh my gosh like I feel swept off my feet looking at these two because they are just so beautiful. It looks like the Sumi dragon that's enchanted is just literally made out of starlight. Can you imagine my wonderful dragon my wonderful dragon students? Can you imagine how amazing it would be to be able to paint with ink made out of starlight and space? That I have to write a poem. I have to sit under the beautiful sakura blossoms that we have in our zen habitats and I have to write a poem. That is just, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm so excited. And this is only the beginning. Once we hatch this little egg, we'll be able to go over to the Boost Brewery and we will actually be able to make a way that we will have the enchanted Sumi Dragon. I am so excited. I, I am almost dizzy with the excitement, and we still have plenty of time to get the enchanted variant too. So today we are definitely going to go ahead and rush that egg. We are going to be hatching it up, and I'm sort of torn between getting the Sumi dragon or trying to get the Aria dragon. So we're going to have to kind of think about that because we do have in the Boost Brewery two really high level potions that oh oh this can't be reactivated well that just made my life a lot easier this one can be reactivated so huzzah we're gonna try for the enchanted sumi dragon today my wonderful students <sighs> so all right you guys know the drill by now let us leave our little dragon university and begin the day's chores gathering the treats in the treat dragon habitats man they do a really good job of getting those treats for us can you imagine how like awesome it would be to just come down with a wheelbarrow and sort of stroll amongst the treat dragon's habitat. In fact, let's go ahead. It's been a long time and I actually don't really have a lot of money because I'll show you what we've been doing with that money in a minute. But it's been a long time since we have given the treat dragons like some new corn patches and some new sunflowers that one day I am very painfully going to have to move to their new area, but that day looks like it's going to be ridiculously far away. So for now, they can hang out over here. Let's go ahead and harvest up the wonderful Zazzberries. I wonder which of our dragons enjoy the Zazzberries the most. And you should constantly be wondering and leaving questions. Ah, sorry about that. You should constantly be wondering and leaving questions, of course, my wonderful students, because the greatest magic that we have here is curiosity, after all. All right, let's go ahead and collect up from our wonderful Zodia dragons. Thank you very much. Our air and rainbow dragons. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we need every ounce of money we can get right now. <laughs> and I will show you guys why in just a second. Um, because we're still expanding the- oh, look at Radia! Oh man, I love our phoenix dragons! They are so cool! I am so excited that we have our two beautiful phoenix dragons now. But we need every single dragon coin we can collect because I have been working with the dragons and with all of the people I can hire to try to clear out the new area that we're expanding to. And it's so expensive! I'm gonna need to start popping down more often to collect the money from our wonderful dragons. Uh, well, I, I, I feel like it's not money though. We had this conversation a couple weeks ago, students. But I feel like when we come over to like collect the dragon cash from Kelsier here, for instance. 
who is our enchanted talk dragon. I feel like what we're actually getting is maybe Kelsier is searching out certain metals. And by the way, if you get those references, then a total high five for being another Sanderson fan. <clears throat> but I feel like Kelsier is like gathering some of the metals in this little area that they live in. And so when we gather the cash, it's not actually just like cash laying around at their feet. It's the different elements that the different dragons are able to collect. Uh, like maybe for the spirit dragons, for instance, maybe Kuzo really knows where to find some amazing, uh, cause he looks kind of like a pinata. Maybe he knows where to find some really amazing treats. Maybe there's some sort of special candy tree that he can go to, to collect candy from. Also, let's go ahead and feed him up a little bit. I think we'll save up a ton of food and do like a mass feeding day of dragons so that we can get a whole bunch of level up. That would be amazing. But you can see back here, I'm not going to clear any of it right now since we want to wait until we have an experience boosting potion to get our biggest bang for the buck. But I have spent literally millions of coins <laughs> setting up these different areas to start clearing them out. And we cannot clear away park expansion number 10 until we get to level 57. So I am thinking we definitely need to clear the entire park expansion uh, only after we use the experience boosting potion so that we can get a ton from here and then we will also try to in the same time that we have the experience boosting potion feed up our dragons to get a ton of um, food basically <laughs> and also get food faster. I think we should start with the treat dragons. The tree dragons should all probably be the ones that we focus our biggest efforts on because it's literally free food that they're able to grow for us, which is really amazing. But all right, now that we have gathered up all of the dragon cash, oh, and let me come down. I keep forgetting to send off the airship. Very naughty of me. Uh, okay, we have enough for that. We have enough for that. We do not have enough petrified water. Fooey. I actually sent some dragons out to gather things and thought to myself, I should get some petrified water, but I didn't do it. Ah, fine, I'm gonna upgrade the storage so we can store more. Might as well. Can I get any petrified? Okay, I can. And I can send one of the babies off to get four petrified water. And we'll see if I can manage to, if, the, if it comes back, then I'll fill up the dragon ship uh, so that we can get whatever boost it might offer us. In fact, we might as well just fill it up now with what we've got. All right, carefully, carefully, pack the shimmering orbs with care, the lava orbs as well. I suppose we're gonna have to go collect more of those now too. There we go, there we go. Somebody please bring Brindala over and make sure that she has her spikes all nice and tidy and feed our wonderful alpine dragon before she goes on her trip. And hopefully I will pull off those petrified waters before uh, the airship leaves. So hopefully I can manage that. But all right, it's time. It's egg hatching time. Let me see. I don't, we do already have a Oracle dragon egg and I already have a bunch of Oracle dragons. If I remember correctly, let me check the hibernation cave. Pretty sure we have a lot of Oracle dragons. I'm trying to remember what trait they are. Uh, yeah, they're ancient trait. We have one Oracle dragon already. Uh, so I'm going to say that this was just like a oracle hint that we were getting closer and closer to the sumi dragon so we're gonna release all of the dragons i need some of you to adopt our beautiful glimmer of frost look at how beautiful she is i just don't get over some of the gorgeous dragon designs sometimes just literally a living snowflake waiting to go home with one of you look at her tiny little She's so cute. Okay, one of you guys needs to take her home. And then we do already have an Oracle Dragon and its egg. So I will go ahead and allow one of you to accept Angiorna into your lives because certainly she can guide you through the path of uh, wherever you need to go. And then another one of you needs to adopt this Ratita uh, into your lives because again, don't we all want to have a little bit of a glimpse of where we possibly should focus on the future? Let's gather up the eggs that are inside of the hatchery to get them out of the way. There we go. There we go. What is this? I don't see that egg very often. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, but <sighs> here we are. You guys ready? We're going to go ahead 
And we're going to hatch the Sumi Dragon egg. This is such a beautiful egg. It is definitely one of my favorites. We might have to go ahead and see if we can save this egg. But I want that enchanted Sumi Dragon like nobody's business. I would love a normal Sumi Dragon too. <gasps> oh gosh, this reminds me. I really need to play Akami. I really need to play Akami. Oh, wow. You are so beautiful. I need to give you a new name, my lovely little inkstone. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to name this one right now Inkstone. Um, and then we'll give Inkstone a new name in the future. But, oh my gosh, just look at this little one. I am so glad. I'm going to need more Zen Habitats. I'm going to need more Dragon Gash. Welcome to me, dragon! I cannot wait. We are definitely going to be getting more of them. Where are you? Oh my gosh. Look at this tiny little one. <gasps> I am so in love. What is your story, my dear? The great witch Tani Tezu, a master of wand wash painting. Her artistic, her artistic technique, coined sumi, sumi -e, involved a specialized combination of rainbow and water magic, allowing her to create the most beautiful brush strokes with a mere flick of her wand. One day, while painting atop a mountain, she created a work of art so large and lovely, surface folks could see it from the further, furthest corners of the land. But they weren't, they weren't the only eyes watching. As if summoned by Tani's magnificent work, a dazzling dragon flew to the mountain, leaving trails of magic in its wake like brush strokes in the sky. Thus was the discovery of the Sumi Dragon. <gasps> That's so cool! I wonder if the Sumi Dragon is more like the- Oh, look at what a dainty eater she is! She doesn't even, like, open her mouth. She just, like, gingerly nibbles on the food we toss her. That is so adorable. I wonder if the Sumi Dragon is, like, really attracted to fantastic artists. Because this is just such a gorgeous one. But alright, let's go ahead and feed this one up to level 20. Because I have to see. You guys ready? Here we go to teenage stage. <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh, the way they wrap their tail around themselves. Oh my gosh, do it again. Oh, and she blows securely. Okay, I am way too just in love with this dragon. And she's still a very, very dainty eater. Okay, you guys ready? Wow. Oh, man. Oh, she's gorgeous. Did you see her wrap her tail around herself like that? I want to see that again, please. Oh, you're so beautiful. Wow, can you imagine what she can paint? Yeah, this is a very, very, very special dragon. I am so... I just feel like I want to sit next to her under the trees and just write poetry and paint all day. Oh my gosh. And look at her from up here. This is so fantastic. Okay, my friends, we need to rush over to the Boost Brewery. You guys know how this goes by now. This is going to be very interesting since we are going to be trying to breed a enchanted dragon. So we kind of have to just take the, the risk. So we're going to brew a Sumi Dragon potion, mixing together all of the rare pieces. Let's go ahead, activate. We now have a 20% chance we will do the Breed Elixir. Well, I'm gonna save the Breed Elixir. I'll save the Breed Elixir for now, so that if we have a hard time breeding them, uh, then we can go ahead and we will, we will do like a rush breeding. But today we are just celebrating the fact that we actually ended up with the Sumi Dragon. And we're also going to use the exact same combination I had last time. We are going to snag that beautiful mineral dragon and we are going to snag the enchanted, was it the ripple grotto dragon? No, it was the shore dragon actually. Hmm, was it this mix I did? Yes, it was. These were the, this was the mix that I had last time. Shore Dragon and Mineral Dragon, both level 20. We have one enchanted crystal. Think beautiful artistic thoughts. And let's see if we can create a painting out of ink made from space and stars. <gasps> okay, there is some kind of egg 
right there, ready to go. And we're gonna have to see if it is going to be the Sumi Dragon Egg next time. Holy doodle days, I am very excited about that. Literally because we can like actually doodle with the ink that our beautiful Sumi Dragon creates for us. Do you like the pun? <gasps> Enchanted Sumi Dragon. I guess that's not a Sumi Dragon then. Or else she wouldn't be there, right? Okay, we're gonna rush one. Enchanted Shore Dragon! <laughs> An Enchanted Shore Dragon. Well, you know, you have to love all, all types, okay? Like, it, it may not have been my first attempt, my first desire, but I want to keep my heart very open to many different kinds of dragons. <sighs> oh no, this one isn't going to be it either! Enchanted- I have an enchanted one of that variant. Okay, last time there's no more room left in the nest, but I'm glad that we're at least giving this a good attempt. And I'm glad that I actually rushed it and found out that it was an enchanted shore dragon, or else I would have been very upset. I forgot we don't have the breeding elixir on, so that's how I got the time wrong. Okay! This is gonna be a little more tricky than I thought, but we will manage my wonderful students. Now, let us come down over here. Let us not lose our total befuddlement in struggling to get a Sumi dragon. And let us try to breed for an Aria dragon with Demeter and our Mixicotl as usual. No luck there either, but that's okay because we have at least one absolutely beautiful Sumi dragon, Inkstone. And we definitely need to think about how we are going to add in more of the Zen habitats for sure. Can I actually get a Zen habitat built now? Uh, habitat, 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 zen habitat. You can never have enough of these. They're so beautiful. Boom! And we're gonna go ahead and get that started. So, ah, what a wonderful day, students. I hope all of you are ready to practice some gorgeous calligraphy. I'm sure that you're all very excited. Uh, also, we're gonna plant some blush rooms because we're getting a little low on, on funds. Uh, th this is a free school after all, so I don't charge you guys tuition. And that means sometimes we have to eat mushrooms, and that's fine. I love mushrooms. But all right, thank you so much for joining me, everyone. If you could, do please leave a like to toss a treat to our dragons, and consider subscribing to join our dragon university of curiosity and immersive role-playing. And I will see you guys next time, when hopefully we will have more luck for the gorgeous Sumi dragon. Bye-bye!